It's here. It's here. It's here. So I am still somewhat terrified of this thing, uh, but last week I ordered the second generation boosted board. I've wanted one of these things since I saw them in various YouTube videos of people way cooler than me who could actually justify buying one. So for like two years now. And you know how those fuckers finally got me a 20% off sale. Considering the thing is normally like $1,400 though, 20% off is a pretty considerable discount. But my primary reason for finally getting one was for going to work. When it's nice out and I feel up to it, I will sometimes ride to work on my tiny penny board, which I love, but it's pretty slow. It takes me about 25 minutes to get to work and since I can only ride Goofy with my right foot on the board, it was kind of fucking up my back. Plus, showing up sweaty to work isn't a great look. On my first day, I skated there and ended up having to Photoshop pit stains out of my company photo. And yes, I am dabbing in that picture. Today is March 1st, and normally I would reload my monthly T-Pass. The tea in Boston is actually pretty decent in my opinion, but it costs $84 for a monthly pass. But I want to try to go this month without one and use the boosted board to get to work instead. But I need to learn how to ride it so I don't fall on my ass. issue is turning. Uh, the board is so much bigger than I'm used to that uh, I don't realize how much weight you have to put into a turn. <laughs> I know I'm probably stating the obvious when I say it is fun as fuck to ride, um, but it is obviously also very dangerous. I make sure to totally stay in bike lanes. I always wear my helmet. And I try to stay aware of what I am riding over. For example, Boston has a lot of brick streets in some places, which obviously is not the best thing to ride on on a skateboard. So, is it really worth it? Well, if I really want to do the math, since a T Pass is $84 a month and the board cost me $1,200 with my discount, then I would need to forego a T Pass for a total of 14 months for it to technically pay itself back. Now, I can't get away with that all the time since I won't really be able to ride it in winter, but eventually it would pay for itself if I used it for almost two years in a row to get to work. But I don't think it'll be that hard. Ultimately, being worth it is kind of subjective, but um, I've been riding it now for exactly a month, and um, I kind of fucking love it. 